Hello guys, welcome back to my let's play on Max Payne 3. We're gonna play party. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go guys. Alright. Just to cover them.
something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. I spotted Passos and Marcelo. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it, it didn't seem quite so kosher. What about, what's her name? Daphne. Uh, do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay, let's go. Nah. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. What are you?
see a friendly face in Panama. Something to help me adjust to being back on land. out all my questions. All I thought about was getting to Daphne Bernstein before it was too late. Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. This is brutal. I didn't think things would be like this. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. Like Daphne Bernstein, something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? Yes, I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes, Marcelo did drive off or something. I don't know what. I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor a friendly banker down in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to loan. But I thought the Broncos were rich. How do you rich? The other two, they did well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? 
a man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot, not Marcelo. Marcelo, Marcelo was an idiot. For this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America, failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. He's probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. Let's take a drive, Max. You wanna do something good? Hmm? You wanna get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. What? That incident at the favela today. Now, some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops, the other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel. And that's what it says. People go in there in large groups and they're armed guard. But it isn't a police station and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> So you keep saying. Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. Oh, right. It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. too many of those already. The Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star bona fide shit all. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the busload. Checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service. 
this would be better upstairs. Alright guys, like, subscribe and comment below. See you guys on the next video. Bye.